And hello again everyone and welcome back to The Longest Journey. Now, if you remember last time, um, April had spent most of her time running from one person to another in Mercuria, doing a lot of walking and talking. Basically, she kept talking to people and they kept telling her, oh, here's a piece of information, oh, here's a piece of information. So basically, not a lot happened, but we're now better equipped to proceed. So now that we've got all that information, let's do something with it and we will continue with The Longest Journey. And here we are again. We're just outside of the Sentinel's Enclave, and we're going to go back into town and try to do something with the information we got. Now, we know that we need to get to the island of Elias down in the Southern Ocean, so I think we need to go talk to someone who owns a boat. And what do you know? We know someone who owns a boat. Let's see if Captain Nebeve is in a better mood. How are you today, then? Like you care. How long's it been since the last wind? Near a month. Ever since that accursed alchemist put some kind of spell on the wind. The Mojal be cursed if I know why. But it's a bloody catastrophe. I've sent some good people of mine up north to deal with him, but not one has returned. Now the a Reed High Council speak of sending an entire army platoon to sort him out, but I'm afraid that just might piss him off. Yeah, you're gonna take on an alchemist who managed to stop the wind. Now, didn't the seer last week tell us, or last time tell us that the, um, Anybody can be an alchemist with training. It doesn't take any kind of talent. So this no talent, nobody is... Never mind. Who's this alchemist who cast a spell on the wind? I believe his name is Clax. Roper Clax. Lives in a bloody rock somewhere up north, beyond Riverwood. Roper Clax. Man, Roper Clax, Burns Flipper. Where do they get these names from? Do you know anything about a god that fell from the sky into the sea? Of course. You find fallen gods most everywhere these days. They're an air and a hand. Really? No, of course not. There are no fallen gods in the sea. It wouldn't make much sense, would it? If the sea was full of gods just lying about the seabed. So you've never heard of such a thing happening? Now you got it. Yeah, you could have just said that to begin with. Do you know the island of Elias? The vacation paradise of the ancient Del Mari? Certainly. How do I get there? It's near the Briston Atoll, but boats rarely travel directly to Briston from Marcuria. You'd have to travel via Guienne. Can you give me a lift to Guienne on your ship? There are three problems with that scenario. Number one, there's no wind, so we can't set sail south. Number two, I lost my navigator a few weeks past, and I have yet to find his replacement. And number three, you're a woman. We don't let women on board the White Dragon. Isn't that a bit sexist? Sexy is just what I worry about. What with a boat full of men being out at sea for months at a time? Not sexy, sexist. I'm a sailor, girl. What do you expect? Good bedside manners? Yeah, this is gonna go well, I can tell. I'd really appreciate it if I could hitch a ride with you to Guienne. Ain't gonna happen. Sorry. Alright. So obviously Bye. we need to find another way to do this. Um, well, let's... Being the way we normally do things, let's see if we can find someone who might help us. Like maybe this weird guy. Hello, old man. I got me no treasure, and I got me no map of no buried treasure. I just be an old sailor with no ship, so leave us be. You know, I didn't ask about any of those things, so 
What was that all about? Do you know how I can get passage on a boat going south? Aye, coin be the way, as me beloved wife always be saying. Course she'd be running off with a wealthy merchant while I be away at sea. Women, never trusted one I didn't pay for again. I don't have much coin at all. And I be at a loss, as do ye, unless... I need coin to travel in a boat, unless... what? Unless I be calling in a favor with the good Captain Horatio Nebeve, who be traveling to Gayen as soon as the wind be picking up. What kind of favor? Oh, he be owing me from back when I was his captain. Do you know the island of Elias? Aye, I be knowing lots and lots about the feared Isle of Elias. It's feared? How? Because... because... It be a place of cannibals. You really don't know anything about the island of Elias, do you? Uh, no, I do not. You know, you could have said that first again, but okay, come on. Uh, we need to figure out a way to get this guy to get us onto Nebevay's ship, and that has to do with the chest he's sitting at. What have you got in that chest? What chest? The one you're sitting on. Oh, that be no chest, girl. That be me stool. I me stool, carved into the uncanny likeness of a chest. But what's in it? No priceless treasure, that be for sure. Nothing, nothing at all. It be empty. No, really. What's in the chest? Oh, live snakes. Aye, snakes that'll bite your face off before you have time to jump. Better leave them be, then. Yeah, um, this guy takes the get information out of me seriously. Um, they're gonna make you work this conversation tree. I'm still curious about that chest. Right, right. I be telling you, curse the balance, girl. You never give up, do you? I be having no real treasure in here, like I told ye. But it be where I keep me personal articles and things I be picking up now and then on me travels. I mean, bad. It's where I'd be keeping me bad before I'd be losing him. I'd be a stupid, stupid old man. He'd be my best friend. I ain't nobody else around to talk to, you see, on account of him being a talking bird. Yeah, talking bird. Didn't we see one of those back in the marketplace a while back? Hmm. What happened to your talking bird? I'd be... he cheated out of him. I... That cups handler on the marketplace be cheating me in a full game of cups, and I be having to give me bird up to try to win me money back. And what happened? He be taking me bird when I be choosing the wrong cup. I my best friend taken from me. Cursed to be the balance. It be all lonesome now. The worst part is that me bird is now a prize to be won. A prize in a cups game. Beat the handler thrice and you win a prize of your choice, me poor bird. What's your bird's name? Bird. Of course. Oh. Would you cash in your favor with Nebeve if I got your bird, Bird, back? Aye, I'd be promising anything to get me friend back. It'd be a deal. Okay, so all of that was necessary, and we're back into traditional adventure game mode here. We need to get Captain Nebeve to take us to the to Gayen so we can get to Elias. Uh, we need this guy to call in his favor with Nebeve to let us on the boat, and he wants the bird back. His bird named Bird. I'd better get going. Ah, you youngins who be always running around. Everything be so important. He's been having no time to sit down and take a breath. So go. Be not wasting your time here with me. Yeah, okay, that's all taken care of now, so we need to go back to town as soon as this animation quits. There we go. So we can head back to the town. And, come on. So we need, we, we remember seeing the guy with the bird in the marketplace. He was right across from the map handler. So we may as well go talk to him and see if we can get 
this old sailor's bird, bird back. Because bird is a word. And no, I'm not going to sing. For which I am sure you are profoundly grateful. Marketplace stalls. Run, April, run. Okay. Yep, that looks like a bird. It's a talking bird. Yes, we figured that out. Let's go talk to this guy. Hey, you! What's going on? Why didn't you deliver any maps yesterday? That's not who I was trying to talk to, but okay. I wasn't around, sorry. Well, there are more maps to be delivered, and my customers are getting very impatient. Did you deliver the map to the rolling man? Yes, sir. All right, let me see his signature, and I'll give you your next delivery. Hopefully you did remember to get that piece of paper signed from um, West House, didn't you? Of course you did. Here's your next delivery, a map of the Northlands to a ton Lyak staying at the Journeyman Inn. And be quick about it. She's been waiting since the day before yesterday. Well, fortunately we know where the Journeyman Inn is, since we just came from there. But, okay. Let's put that aside, and let's go try talking to this guy again and see if it will let us this time. Want to test your skill and perception with a game of cups? There are prizes to be won! Of course there are. Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Time is money, so make it quick! And we don't need to talk too much about this, but... Do you know anything about Stark? Not much. I'm not too sure if I even believe in the place. I mean... You hear the stories and you read the books. Uh, well, I don't, but some do. A place where there's no magic, only science? Sounds like a bloody paradise, doesn't it? I mean, with my, um, <clears throat> skills, I could make a killing in a place like that. Okay. Um, we don't really need to go through all of this. Thanks. Now, how about a game of cups? How do I play? You put your coin down on the table. I put a cup on top of it and shuffled it around with the other two cups. And all you have to do is guess which one hides your coin. And remember, no magic used and none allowed. This amulet right here will light up if you use magic. Then you'll be banned. For life! Well, fortunately, we're not from a place with magic. We're from Stark. Remember the place where there's no magic, only science? What can I win? Well, there's coin, of course. Double your bet or choose from a wide variety of exotic prizes. Like this antique Domari canter from Guienne. A superb replica of Mount Tyrone cast in pure solid iron. A magic walnut from the once glorious island kingdom of Anciel. And this, um, unique bird. Get me out of here! Keep your beak shut, you scraggly piece of... <clears throat> and he talks! Great for feasts and for the amusement of infants. He's our top prize, a real keeper. You gotta love the bird. Okay, let's go. Just place your bet, <clears throat> investment, on the table and the game will begin. Now, fortunately, we have some money. Remember the innkeeper gave us some money? And the... Oops. I always do that. Remember the innkeeper gave us some money? And the thing we have to realize... I got a whole handful of these Arcadian iron coins. The iron coins part... I did it again. The iron coins part is what is important. They're iron. There we go. What do you want me to click, game? Here's my coin. Now, how do I play? I place one cup on top of your coin, like so. Then, I shuffle them, like so. Now, you guess which cup hides your coin. If you get it right, you win another coin. Three in a row, 
and you win a prize. All right. Now we can't just randomly click on cups, but that won't work. In fact, we're gonna cheat. I mean, the guy's a kind artist anyway. The way we're gonna cheat is this screwdriver. Remember it? It's a magnetized screwdriver. Notice it's magnetized. Ah, I did it again. There we go. If we use the screwdriver Nothing happened. on each of the cups. Hey, that cup moved. Remember, um, iron coins, magnetized screwdriver? It's gotta be this one. Uh that's that's correct, but that's you used magic, didn't you? You used your magic wand. Nah, your amulet didn't light up, did it? No, but but it's impossible. Because you use magic yourself? Because nobody's supposed to ever win your game? They have a name for people like you, sir. Con artist. What? I'm outraged. I'm I'm outraged. Whatever. I want my prize. Prize? You don't get a prize for winning once. Especially when you're cheating, you cheat. You want me to call the city guard? I demand a prize. Oh, by the gods of gambling. Here, take this and leave me be. A calculator? Where did you get this? Oh, I don't know. Wanted off some guy who got it from someone else who's supposedly been in stock. It's a worth... I mean, it's a valuable souvenir from the mysterious and elusive world of logic. Now, would you please let me be? Let someone else play. Yes? Okay. Remember a few minutes ago, this guy says, I'm not sure I believe in Stark. He doesn't think there is a world of pure logic out there. He has a calculator. Where does he think that came from? I mean, whatever. We're gonna talk to this guy some more. I'm not talking to you, you cheat! Well, maybe we can make a deal with him then. I'll make a trade with you. My screwed... My magic wand for one of your prizes, and then I'll leave your game alone. What's the catch? No catch. You get a screw magic wand, and I get one of your exotic prizes. Hmm. All right. Fair enough. Which prize would you like? The talking bird. <laughs> that scraggly heap of... A fantastic choice, young lady. Hold on a second, and I'll get him for you. A fantastic choice, and I really, really mean that. I don't want to ask April, but where are you keeping that bird? I mean, <laughs> those pants are skin tight. So, you're a bird, huh? Yeah, yeah. Wait a second. Did the old man send you to get me? I guess he did. My name's April. Oh, God, is there no escape? I mean, not that I like being cooped up in a cage for gamblers to gawk at and children to spit at all day, but give me a break. It's better than being locked away in a stinking chest. Thanks a whole bunch for rescuing me, April. You're welcome. No, 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 hey, hey, that's not what I meant. I was being sarcastic. Do you know what sarcastic means? Speak all tongue? Yes, yes, hmm? No, actually, I don't. I speak English. English? English? I don't know where you're from, lady, but you're weird. Okay, so let me go already, all right? Enough with the I'm human so I can boss the bird around shtick. We're all impressed. Sorry, I promised the old man I'd win you back. I need a favor from him badly. Yeah? So what's so important you'd sacrifice a bird's happiness and well-being? The fate of two worlds, billions of people, and the balance. Yeah? Yeah? So... No. Forget it. So were you always just Bird? Or did you have a better name? No. It's always been Bird. 
My full name is that damn bird. I learned that when I was two weeks old. That damn bird, the old man would say. No good ball of feathers. Then he beat me with a stick. Really? Uh, no. He'd just stick me in the chest and forget about me. Which is almost as bad as beating, believe you me. I'm sorry to hear that, bird. You know, if you were my bird, I think I'd call you Crow. Yeah, well, I'm my own bird, lady, and I don't... Crow. You'd call me Crow? That's a pretty good name. It's a proper name, at least, not just an insult. Anyway, I guess I'd better get you back to your master bird. He's pining for you. All he's pining for is coin to gamble with. It's really none of my business. Sorry. <laughs> sure you are. Okay, I love Bird. Bird is great. Um, our Crow, we're going to start calling him by his proper name. Don't worry, we'll see Crow again later. Crow is, in my opinion, one of the best sidekicks ever to appear in an adventure game. He's right up there with um, Morty the Skull from um, Planescape Torment or Floyd back from the old Planetscape games. I mean, I love Crow. But anyway, we have things to do, places to go and things to do. While we're here in town, and we have this map we need to deliver to the Journeyman Inn, we may as well go ahead and take care of that. So let's take the map and give it to this woman who needs her map. Fortunately, we know where that is. Um, here. Man, what the hell is that? It's a funny looking animal. Uh, okay. That's all you have to say? Okay. Excuse me? Yes? Oh, it is you. I'm looking for a guest of yours, Tun Lyak. The sailor? She is looking for work today, I'm afraid. With most of the ships moored to the docks for balance knows how long, it is difficult for sailors to find work. Do you know when Tun Lyak is expected back? I could not tell you, child, but from what I know of the ships in harbor, she will not find one that needs a navigator any time soon. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome, child. All right. Hmm. Toon Lyak is a navigator. We know a ship captain who needs a navigator. Are all the pieces starting to come together here, you think? Okay. Well, let's go give Bird back to the sailor. I am wrong here. There we go. Hello again, old man. Eh? Eh? It be you. And we actually can't talk to him during give him the bird and the dialogue tree. What are you doing? Mending nets, of course. What it look like I be doing? I'm not well versed in maritime customs. Mar what? Ah, yes, mean sea life, dear not. Ah, the smell of the salty sea, the lapping of waves on your ship, the spray of cold water on your face, plump maidens in every part. I, I tell yous, I be having stories about the sea. Uh, don't ask him about his maritime stories. It will literally put you to sleep. See you later. If I not be dead, I... Now, the only way to get him to do anything is, well, wait for that animation to finish. There we go. Is to give him bird back. Notice you're calling it crow in inventory. Here's your bird. Bird, sir. It wasn't easy, but I got him back. I sure hope you're grateful. Bird. Blessed be the balance, me 
faithful friend and companion be back. No, 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 not back in the chest, not in the chest! I love bird. Crow. Now can you help me get passage on a ship? Aye, I be a man of me word. Speak ye with Captain Horatio Nebevay of the White Dragon, the ship behind yous. Tell him Umbrianos be sending yous to cash in on that old favor he be owing me. Thanks, old man. I uh, she he just told you his name, April. You don't need to call him old man. You can call him Umbrianus. Okay. Let's go talk to Nebave and tell him the good news. Hello. Uh huh. You know old Umbrianos, don't you? The old drunk? I he be a good captain once, but ever since he lost his ship, he hasn't been much worth to anyone. Be that as it may, you do owe him a favor, right? Aye, that I do. He saved my life more than once, and I wouldn't be captain of this beautiful lady if it weren't for him. Guess what? I'm here to cash in on that favor. I'll be damned. What did you do for the old geezer? Promise him your hand in marriage? Don't you mind that, old boy. Just get ready to sail south. You're giving me a lift to the island of Elias. I mean, since you're already heading for Gien. I am? That could prove a little tricky. How come? For one, there is no wind. That accursed alchemist up north has put some kind of spell on the wind. We've been through Clax, that. I believe his name is. Roper Clax. Lives in a bloody rock somewhere beyond Riverwood. As long as he's got his dirty claws on the wind, this vessel ain't going nowhere. Then there's a little problem with my crew. I can't very well leave the harbor without a navigator, and my last one decided he didn't much care for the sea anymore and went off to marry a serving maid. But, okay, let's say I manage to free the wind and find you a new navigator. Then will you drop me off on Elias? <laughs> You think you will be able to defeat Clax, free the wind, and find me a new navigator? By Jaws pus filled left eye, if you do such a trick, then I. I'll take you wherever you wish to go. Most likely they'll be holding your funeral within the week, girl. <laughs> Just leave the madman be and let the army deal with him. Never you mind. As long as you keep your promise and take me to Elias. What's with Elias, anyhow? It's been deserted for hundreds of years, ever since the Dolmari fell victim to the Great Plague. I need to visit the Elation people to listen to some of their stories. As if there aren't enough stories here. <laughs> it takes all sorts, that be for sure. And yes, is this not the most adventure game thing we've done so far? Yes, you have to do this for this person in order to get them to do something else for you. Okay. Well, I guess the next thing we need to do is go find this um, navigator, Luntiak, I think her name was. Um, she went off into the Northlands, so, or at least she had a map of the Northlands. So let's see if we can find her. Now, what's weird is I have to go to the city to leave the city. It's weird. All right, see, the road north, that's where we know she went. So let's go that way. There's that monument. Those monuments, they're enormous, like man-made mountains. Wonder what they are, what they were made for. See, there's another one here. Um, there's a farmhouse and all here, but we're just heading off into the forest. Now the thing is, we could not have gone into the forest unless we had the map from the map maker. That's what we had to do all that. And it's Crow! Yay! Crow made it. All right. Like I said, we would not have been able to come here if it was not for the um, map. In fact, I guess this is the map. So we're going to go off into the forest. 
and just make our way through the forest for a while. Hello, crow. Do you always travel like you got a two-headed Vesperian nymphate on your tail? I couldn't keep up half the time. Crow, is that you? Of course, there was that pair of stunning Robin Redbreasts. Twins, did you know? Not as if I could just leave them without a kiss or two. Or twelve, as it turned out. Eh... <sighs> Maybe I'm just out of shape after being stuck in boxes and cages and knapsacks for the past 20 years! I guess it is you. Of course it's me! How many birds do you know with both good looks and a sense of humor? You got a sense of humor? No, oh, funny. Nah, <laughs> that's funny. What are you doing here, Crow? What am I doing here? What am I doing here? How about a nice to see you, Crow, or I've missed you so much, Crow, or at least a glad to see you out of that chest, Crow? It is nice to see you, Crow. How did you escape? Cunning, milady. Of course, that keg of Andrigan stone liquor the old geezer got his hands on didn't hurt. I've never seen such a shameful display of public drunkenness in my life. Well, not since the last time I had a thimble full of wine. Yeah, boy, were those ladies in for a surprise. When they were told I could talk, I'm sure they didn't count on my encyclopedic knowledge of Dolmari obscenities. The old man was gonna gamble me away again, you know. Went straight back to the cup handler after the, um, celebration. So, I decided to split before they put me back in the cage. That place was like a prison without the amenities. And let's not even mention the food. Did you ever try roasted El Guan Dung? Ugh, pooey, duh, don't, ever. So, I pecked a button here and some soft tissue there and fled. I had nowhere else to fly, so I decided to join you on your, uh, quest. It sounded like a spot of good old-fashioned fun. Like a bird zone adventure. It's not as if I came after you because I like you, though. You don't have any feathers. Thank God for that. Okay, if you want to join me, I wouldn't mind some company. I'm guessing you'll be using your wings, though, and not your feet? The ground's no place for a free spirit like myself, baby. Besides, I hear there are a lot of good-looking birds in this forest. And let me tell you, they don't parade about on the ground like winged chickens. Just try to slow down once in a while. Let me catch up. Sure. But how do I get your attention if I need to talk to you? Can you whistle? Like this? <laughs> Sorry, but wait a second. I got a little flute. I could use it to call you. I'm not a sheepdog. Let's get that straight. You play your tune, and I'll consider your request. I won't be flapping to attention like a tame soldier hawk. Deal. We better get moving, though. It's getting late. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll try to keep an eye out ahead in case there's trouble. And yes, we now have Crow as a sidekick. Um, anyway, this is a good stopping point. Uh, we've got a adventure or two to do here in the forest before we reach the end of the chapter. But it's probably as good a time as any to um, break here, because otherwise this one session will run too long. So we will catch up with April and Crow when they're continuing adventures next week, or next time. I don't know why I keep saying week. Um, anyway, um, until then, this is Dennis, this is Tan Staffel of Paleo Gamer, and I will see you next time.